someone made a fake reactor hat Twitter account, and like I don't I don't mind. I just want to say that it's not me. You know, because it'd be pretty crazy if like a bunch of fake reactor Twitter accounts started up right now. I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just saying it'd be crazy if a bunch of people started making fake reactor Twitter accounts right now. But if you do, I'm gonna have to mention you in my video so that people know that I'm not you and that it's not the real reactor. Hey, what's up everyone? Reactor here and welcome to my vlog. Today, uh, I'm gonna do a question and answers because in my last video I was talking about how I was gonna do a question and answers today and uh, a bunch of people asked questions on my last video so I'm gonna take those questions and I'm gonna answer them today. And I'm also gonna do a reactor hat contest and I have a reactor hat that I'm gonna give away to the winner. So first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at your comments and then answer some of them. So, hold on a second. Okay, the first one is from SpamMonkey42 and it says, am I the only one that tried calling the number on the cell phone? Hey SpamMonkey42, no you are not the only one who tried calling that number. Lots of people called it. Uh, what else? Tatiana Lopez asked, what direction are you planning on taking the channel? Uh, I don't really have a direction in mind. I'm probably just gonna just keep vlogging about my life. Uh, aside from all that, I do have a plan that I'm working on though. But I'm not gonna say what it is. Uh, Andrew Williams asked, how come you don't take care of your YouTube subs? No giveaways for us. Uh, sorry about that, Andrew Williams. I'm just, I'm just gonna take care of my Patreon patrons first in my first Reactor Hat contest. And then in my next one, uh, I'm probably gonna take care of my subs. Uh, pretty sure I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna do my subscribers for the next one. Uh, Donald McCarthy asked, who is your favorite and least favorite YouTuber? Um, I think my favorite YouTuber is Jake Paul, because he's really good at vlogging, and that's what I do. I, I'm a vlog channel. So my my least favorite, uh, my least favorite is probably any of the channels that don't have any subscribers or videos. I don't go to those a lot because there's nothing to do there. So I pretty much don't like all YouTube channels that have no videos equally. But yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, Thomas EPC asked, Superman or Batman? Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't like DC Comics. I'm more of a Marvel person. And I think DC are like really, I don't know, I, I just don't like DC Comics at all. But I guess if I had to choose, I would say, I would say Batman. Yeah. Yeah, Batman. Fruit asked, what's your favorite animal? Uh, I think my favorite animal is probably humans. They're like, I have the most in common with them. So, so yeah, that, that's what I would say, humans. Humans are my favorite animal. Uh, Brandon Wang asked would you like me to send you a care package yeah if you want to send me a care package uh yeah that'd be awesome that's why i made a p.o box so that people can send me their stuff uh uh i some some things you could send me would be like money or like jewelry is good uh 
or like gift cards with lot with like a lot of money on them. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, you can send me anything you want. Those, those things would just be what I prefer. But yeah, if anyone wants to send me a care package, that's what I got the PO box for. So go for it. And Dolores Flores said or asked. How many times can you say Patreon in one video? Ha ha ha. Uh, there's not really anything that like stops me from saying Patreon in a video, so I could probably say it as many times as I want. Uh, I could probably make a whole video of me saying Patreon. And like, yeah, I could, I could say it. There's nothing really stopping me from saying Patreon. So, I don't really get your question. Ziomakek159 asked what is the story behind your superman hat uh i don't know aiden sucks at games asked why did you need to break out of prison if you only had to be in there for a year and a year past p.s what happened to dingo uh i I broke out of prison because uh, I was supposed to be in there for two years and I didn't want to wait another year because I can one year isn't bad but two years that's too much yeah uh, and what happened to Dingo Dingo's my dog and when I got arrested they took him and I don't actually know where he is right now but uh, I plan on finding out and getting him. But I think I think he's living with another family right now. But I'm gonna I gotta find him still. Um, Sax asked, "Hey, what's up? Not much. Just doing a Q and A uh, and my reactor head video right now. So yeah, that's about it." Um. Jared St. Clair asked, So you escaped prison, set up the cameras, went back to prison and escaped again. How did you pull that off? And how did the guards react to you escaping? Uh, I didn't, that's not what I did. I didn't set the cameras up. Yeah. That wasn't me. Uh, and the guards... I, I haven't seen them since, so... I don't really know. Uh, they're probably just still guarding it. Ron Davis asked, what kind of tattoos do you have? What? Uh, yeah, I have like words and stuff. Like those are words. I guess I could show you my tattoos right now. I've got a heart and a star on my hands. I've got three bars on each of my wrists. Uh, it says, are you awake on this wrist? I have... Uh, two koi fish swimming in a circle in water and I have a no smoking sign and I have a pied crow outline with the periodic table in it and and that's yeah that's pretty, pretty that's most of my tattoos I don't want to take my pants off right now and then Bangkok Dangerous asked how did you come up with the idea for your hat uh, I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I I didn't really come up with the idea for my hat. I I bought my hat. Uh, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I just I bought it at a store, and uh, I've been wearing it ever since. So yeah, that's that's it. Pyro Prince asked. Would you say your merch is selling like a God Church? Uh, I think God Church means that it's selling a lot, and no, mine's not selling a lot. Uh, I think I, I think I only sold one so far. So whoever bought it, thank you. Uh, Caleb Clark asked, I don't have a credit card or the money to become a patron or buy merch. 
is there any w other way I can support you other than liking every video and subscribing? Uh, no, you don't, that, that is supporting me. You don't have to do anything else. It, you know, I appreciate liking and subscribing. That's, you know, that's the most you can do without actually, uh, going out of your way to do a lot of work for me. And I don't, I don't, I don't need you to do that. But, uh, but yeah, so basically, no, uh, liking and subscribing is, is perfect. That's, that's all I could ask. Hobo Hunter Rick asked, how, Reactor, how do you combat crippling depression? By making a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's the easiest way. Make a, get a hobby. You just gotta find a hobby. Dill Doe asked, It's sad that I can't enter the hat contest because I'm too young to have a job, and my mom won't let me pledge money. I would if I could. That's not a question, but, uh, it's okay. That's fine. Uh, you can be in my next hat contest. Uh, this one, I don't know, I'm just doing this one first because my, my patrons are helping me, so... Uh, I feel like they deserve it, but everyone else, everyone else is still going to be in a contest. So, Bronson Seahafer asked, "Hey, Reactor, is Superman your favorite superhero?" Uh, no, I don't like Superman. Uh, I think it's, I don't know, he's really boring. I don't know. I just really don't like Superman. Uh, Mac Ndeyasaba asked, Reactor, what's the meaning of life? Uh, the meaning of life, uh, that's kind of a, a weird way to, to ask. I think the real question is what's the purpose of life? Uh, because there is no meaning to life. But the purpose of life is to organize matter in, in, a, in a way that keeps it moving. We take carbon from the, our environments and turn them into living animals or plants or anything. Uh, so what happens then is all of that matter is organized into one spot and it keeps things moving. If there's no life, then you just have rocky plains and mountains and nothing really going on. But by having life, you know, plants grow seeds and those seeds move to somewhere else and all of these different elements are moving around to different places and keeping stuff moving because if nothing's moving nothing's really happening um, Philly cheesesteak asked why not drink water instead of Red Bull cuz I didn't open a box of water I opened a box of Red Bull so uh, it's just what I have uh, Joe Cahill asked Hey Reactor, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? How would you win? Um, I would rather fight one horse-sized duck with an army of duck-sized horses helping it so that they're all on the same team because that would actually give me more of a challenge. Because uh, I think duck-sized horses, I would just kick them. And then a horse-sized duck, I would, I would run and jump on its back but it would be a lot more difficult to jump on its back if it had a bunch of tiny horses helping it. So I would have to, I don't know how I would win. That would be an interesting battle though. But, but yeah, I would, I would prefer both at once, so. Uh, okay, so that's it for the Q&A. Uh, I'm gonna answer more questions probably when I'm on uh, Mumpkey's live stream next week. Uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Monkey's channel. And, uh, yeah, so if you have more questions, you can ask them uh, live while we're live streaming. So that would be, that'd be cool. Uh, so other than that, I'm going to do the Reactor Hat contest now. And uh, I've got all the names in this hat right here. And this is the hat you're going to win. So... Shaking it. And the 
the winner is Jay Malin. So I need you to send me uh, an email or, yeah, just contact me somehow. You, you, you know how to contact me probably. Uh, or I'll try contacting you also. And uh, just give me like an address you want me to send the hat to and then I'll, I'll send it. So congratulations, you won a reactor hat. I don't know, I think I already had three contests, but I don't think I sent out, one of them I never sent because they never got back to me. So, but yeah, but you won. So congratulations to you, Malin. Uh, yeah, you won the fourth reactor hat contest, I think. It's been a while since I did one, so. All right, so so that's it. Uh, that was the so I did the Q and A and I did the uh, the reactor hat contest. And uh, the other things I want to say are, someone made a fake reactor hat Twitter account. Uh, and like I don't I don't mind. I just want to say that it's not me. Uh, you know, because it'd be pretty crazy if like a bunch of fake reactor Twitter accounts started up right now. Uh, I'm not saying you can't do that, I'm just saying it'd be crazy if a bunch of people started making fake reactor Twitter accounts right now. Uh, but if you do, I'm going to have to mention you in my video so that people know that I'm not you and that it's not the real reactor. So that's all I had to say. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that I have merch that you're supposed to buy. See you next time.